Hey guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel. I am going to show you some fabulous bags today. I already know the story is going to ruffle some feathers because some of my bags are just so F-A-B, fabulous. And I don't care what anyone thinks because when I walk into a room, this is what I get. Girl, you look good. Oh, ooh, do you have one of those? And I'm too honest. I just say, you know, I didn't spend 12K on this. And they lean in and they go, Shh, don't tell anyone because it looks real and tell me where you got it. And I'm not one to gatekeep. We all know bags are just accessories. It doesn't make or break us. You can shop at a thrift store and look fabulous. It's an eye for style. If you have it, you have it. If you don't, you don't. Can you learn it? Yes. But some of y'all think you can go to Louis Vuitton, buy a $3,000 bag, and then that makes your whole outfit and your style. Mm, sorry, no. Nor does it make you a better person. Some of you look down on the others who didn't spend $3,000 on a bag. Anyway, so I'm just gonna share some of my secrets. Some of my coworkers just say like, Shh, don't say anything because I want one too. I'm like, okay, I'll just say that my ex-boyfriend got this. We can all rock it and look fabulous together because I don't gatekeep. I'm not dying for the approval of those who don't approve. So you can just move along. <laughs> so first things first, I'm going to thank the sponsor of this video, my Valentine present to myself, or guess my Valentine present came from Italo Jewelry. Italo Jewelry, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. They sent me in this box, this beautiful cocktail ring. And I thought, you know, my fingers are too small for a big ass ring, but I kind of love it. I kind of love it, okay? So I guess that finger is gonna need a four carat minimum. And they also sent me this beautiful rose gold bracelet. So all of their jewelry, it's sterling silver, rhodium bladed or gold or rose gold, you can choose the finish. These are sapphires. When you order from Italo, they are custom made from artisans, real artisans. It does come from China, but it is not made by my child. They are made by real artisans who craft this jewelry and there's a video about it on their website. The packaging is also super beautiful and literally you could get two pieces for what you would pay at the department store, you know? So these direct-to-consumer brands can cut out a lot of the marketing costs. Second, not sponsored, but I've got to throw in there that uh, this is my new favorite hair tool. It's the GHD Kronos. I'm getting a lot of comments on my hair. This is the best hair tool ever, ever. It straightens and it does this, this wave volume, it curls. Oh my God. So uh, the links for the jewelry is in the description and the links for the Kronos is in the video. So over a year ago, I published this video about rich women buying fake bags. And I love the response and the comments from you guys out there. They came in and said, I buy authentic and I buy fakes because there's no use in spending all your money on authentics. It even states so in the article. So why, I mean, people are gonna be opposed, of course, I expected it. Why are there still people saying, shame on you, you should just buy contemporary, I get to gatekeep the logo of this company that I don't even own. And why don't you just buy something else? <laughs> Anyways, but thank you for the real ones out there who admit there is no difference in buying an authentic or a fake, especially when it gives you some type of superiority complex over other people who just choose not to buy an authentic bag. Does that mean if they don't buy an authentic bag at all? I mean, it sounds like if they buy contemporary and authentic, and not authentic, you're gonna look down on them anyways. And if they did buy that authentic bag, you're gonna turn your nose up anyways. It's some reason that they can't stand next to you. The entitlement and the strange mindset of those who strive to be somebody, I don't know, status, and accuse others of trying to look rich, but in trying to look rich by buying these things, you come off inauthentic and fake yourself. So I don't care what people think, if I buy the real thing or not, it's a lot better in my opinion, in my comfort zone than to be so pressed to prove to other people that you spent over $2,000 
for a luxury logo, for approval, for judgment of people you don't know, for what? <laughs> What does it matter? And if you want to say, oh, buying fake supports child labor or terrorism, well, watch this video here. We're going to keep it real and fabulous. And if it makes me a fake ass bitch, so be it. Okay, so I'm going to show you my latest three. They are the three that I'm wearing a lot in rotation that are getting a lot of attention. So of course, like I said, I don't get keep. I'm going to share. So the post-its are in place for copyright protection. My cute little Matales leather. I added the little headscarf myself and she is what gets so much attention. The cute little scarf from Amazon. So, like I said, you can look good and not have to spend a lot of money. Do you need to buy a $300 Hermes scarf or can you buy a $10 one from Amazon when it serves the same purpose to keep your handbag handle clean and to like elevate the look of the bag? So, let me just demo for you. A little touch of pink goes a long way and it looks so much more fun and adorable than always carrying a black bag, okay? This doesn't fit a damn thing, <laughs> but it fits my phone, my iPhone 14. If I squeeze it in there, it's not going to fit a plus, and it's going to fit my lip gloss, my eye drops, my lipstick, and I don't even know if it'll fit my card holder at the, that point, but just, it doesn't fit anything, but I wear it around just cause she looks so cute, alrighty? So that is bag number one. Bag number two, and this is my latest. I don't think a lot of people have seen her yet unless you're in my membership channel. Again, the post-it note is uh, covering uh, vital information, but you can see what she is supposed to be or inspired by. She has a short shoulder strap. I like to carry her this way. And yes, it is gold. It is patent gold. I don't mind a little gaudy every now and then because this was meant to be for like girls night out bag, date night bag when I wear all black and it will go with my gold Vuitton heels. Did not want another black bag. So this is gonna look good with my all black wardrobe. She does not fit very much. Oh, but she comes with this cute little, cute little thingy that I believe is supposed to hang outside but I don't like her hanging outside, but it's cute on its own. And it's got this beautiful gold leather lining. Alrighty, I know the bag is patent. It's patent leather, so be careful not to leave her in a humid place. Don't leave her sticking to another bag because it will actually stick to another bag. The patent is a varnish, so if it collects humidity, it like kind of melts and there's no recovering from it. And if it melts on another bag and sticks to it, well, too bad, so sad. There's no coming back from that. So anyways, you can see how much room it has in here. Um, enough for your phone, your card holder, your lipsticks. I don't know where I'm gonna put a scarf on this, but I don't have to. Oh, by the way, I just, I love the detail on the chain, even the leather that they use on the chain is super pretty. So she's my latest superstar, so I can feel like a superstar when I rock a gold bag. Now, lastly, and some of you might have seen this or, or seen it on my shelf, even just being in the background on my shelf. Oh, she needs a little cleaning because I've been using her a lot. This really is my superstar, and you know who this is inspired by. Oh, let me tie her bow. But you know, guys, there is no way in HE double hockey sticks am I gonna pay 12K? 12K? By the way, this fits nothing. So there's no visible logos on this. Uh, and I, there are so many versions of this bag that you can buy on Etsy and all that stuff. This has a beautiful leather, I've got skincare samples in here. It's got a beautiful leather interior. You can see it fits my card holder, my lipstick, my lip gloss. And uh, once that's in, I can barely squeeze my phone in because of the way this bag is made where it's triangle, squeezes at the top. It's really hard to get anything in here, but <laughs> the stitching is fabulous. And let me just put her on because 
I can't stand it. It's just so darn cute. The color is cream and brown. Cream bags are really in right now too, by the way, but you know, I love my colored bags. And of course, of course, the girls, they tell me it's the way that you wear the scarves on the bags that it makes it look elevated. Like you would never even tell, be able to tell that they're not the real deal because of like the things that you do. Again, Amazon. <laughs> The thing is, as opposed to what all internet trolls think, I don't walk around like this. Like, look at my bag and lead with my bag. I just like wear it and like, I don't even know. I don't even know it's on because it's just like whatever. It's a cute accessory to what I'm wearing. And I always dress cute. Like I say, style is not about labels. I don't stop people to show off that I'm wearing a Chanel necklace or a Gucci belt because they don't even notice and they don't even effing care. Only bag lovers or people who have worked in the industry really notice it. It's so much about your style. Do you have the eye for it? Can you put stuff together? Or are you just begging for logos and throwing things together and hoping that people notice you because they think you spent so much money on it. The bag just adds an extra touch. So the other day when I was wearing this, like I do notice sometimes how like coworkers can say things and I realized they thought because I was wearing this that, oh, I must've been stuck up or snooty. And I was just like, it wasn't even a thought in my head. And I realized later, oh my gosh, just because I was wearing this bag, I mean, it doesn't change my personality. But also, if you put me some, next to someone else, like, who has the same bag or similar outfit, I mean, the only difference is that I kept $2,000 in my pocket. So, I mean, when they... But anyways, my point is, if you know how to put things together if you have confidence and you treat, treat people nicely as if nothing in your life is lacking. People will, will perceive you as having a very high lifestyle. And like I said, some people will judge, but whatever. Whatever I'm wearing is not hurting the person who's judging me. You guys, and it's okay to have expensive taste and it's okay to look good. It's also okay to not want to spend the money for an overpriced bag. So that video really opened my eyes to people's attitudes. It's not about the bag. It's about the attitudes. And being a former client advisor at Vuitton, it's like the bag don't mean shit. <laughs> it does not. I promise you guys, rich people have the same problems that poor people or middle class people do and the rich rich don't care about you guys trying to prove something. It's funny how people behave over handbags, but not just handbags, it's all material things. Watches, how many watches do you have? How many perfumes do you have in your collection? What kind of car do you drive? Where did you go on vacation? I have to post it on Instagram. Did you fly first class or economy <laughs> with the regular dagglers? Like most of us are regular dagglers. The truth is some people don't care. It doesn't matter if you are secure with yourself and you don't feel the need to impress people and you just focus on what you have and not what you don't have compared to other people those other people might have the things, but they could be $50,000 in debt and unhappy. So you do you, boo. Like there's no need to judge ourselves and each other on material things. So anyways, I'm Michelle. I'm your voice of reason. Love me or hate me. I'm just here to help everyone look fab. <laughs> so let me know in the comments if you're rocking it fab like me. And I do have authentic pieces as well, but I have enough authentic pieces. So I'm done with that obsession. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, share this video if you like it. And if you really like it, I have a membership portion of the channel that you can support. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.